In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use data filters in Origin to look at historical test positive rates of individual states in the U.S. We'll set up a sample graph with one state's data, and then we'll show you how to duplicate this graph for a new state by changing the filter on the source data sheet. The data source we'll connect to is the COVID Tracking Project's historical state data and the test positive rate is calculated by using the ratio of daily new positive cases divided by daily new tests performed. Let's get started. First, use Origins Data Connector to get data from the web. The date column is automatically recognized in this new version of Origin 2020B. Next, add a filter in the state column and pick a single state. Here, let's choose Texas. I'll select only the few columns I need and copy them into a new book, as this data set has many columns that we don't need. The Copy Columns tool can be used for this purpose. In the new workbook, add two new columns. Use the cell formula to calculate the daily percentage increase, C1 divided by B2. Then double click the formula cell corner to extend the calculation to all cells of the column. Next, use the column formula, C divided by D, to calculate the test positive rate. Choose the workbook filter lock to lock the filter condition to Texas in this book. Now we can plot the daily percentage increase as a column plot and customize it, including mapping the color of the columns to the test positive rate so the higher rate is red and lower rates are green. We can add a color scale to the graph so viewers know the color indicates the test positive rate. Use this syntax to show filter information in the graph. Once we are satisfied with the graph, we can embed it in the worksheet. Now we can duplicate the workbook. Since the graph used only the data in this workbook, when the book is duplicated, the graph is also duplicated, but Origin will automatically switch the plot to use data from the new book. This will save you all the trouble that you saw when customizing the graph. Now let me show you how to show results from a different state in this new book. First, change the filter in the original sheet. For example, I'll choose Florida. Then reload the filter in this new book. You can see the calculation and the graph are all updated to show Florida's data. When new data is updated on the web, we just need to re-import the data in the source sheet to see updated calculations and graphs. As you can see, both states here have low positive rates. But if I check, for example, Georgia and New York, the test positive rate is not as good.
This concludes our tutorial. Thank you for watching.